Let's take a look at how to add colors and swatches in Adobe Illustrator. And specifically, we're gonna look at how to add global swatches or global colors that you can change and it will change across your entire design. Okay, so here we are in Illustrator. We've got just a couple of triangles out here, right? If I wanted to add color to this, my favorite way is to just click on this and double click the color swatch over here and just find the color that I would like. So we'll just grab a red, kind of a muted red tone here. And I can hit okay. I'm gonna add green to this one. And so let's just find a green, add it. Same thing here, I'm gonna add a blue. So I've got three different colors here on my artboard. Now, the first way that you could add one of these as a swatch that you can reuse in your document without having to eyedropper this shape or try to find that color is to open up your swatches panel. That panel can be found in the window dropdown down to swatches. When this guy is open, you see a bunch of default things in here already, but to just add this one shape or color, whatever selected as a swatch, we can click this new swatch button, the little plus icon. So this pops open a new swatch panel and I would check global. Global swatches are awesome because they can be changed throughout your entire document if you ever wanna go and edit that. So check mark global swatch. This should all be good. If you wanna make changes here, you can and change the color mode to edit it, but just hit okay. And look, it added it here, just in this list of a bunch of default swatches that we have. Now, if we wanted to add a folder, you see a couple folders here for all the swatches in your document you can just click this folder button to add a new color group. And with this color group, I'm not really gonna name it, you can go to selected swatches, because I currently have this one or even multiple selected, hit okay, and it's gonna move that swatch down into the group. Now an even quicker way to do this, if we undo all of that, is let's say I have an artwork already and I just want all the swatches from that artwork at once in a folder. I can select whatever items or objects out here on my artboard that I want, go to this new folder icon, new color group, and use the selected artwork option. And I would also convert to global. Just check mark both of these. It's gonna be fine. Hit okay. And now we have three swatches down here. If you start to go through these with them selected, obviously when you click a swatch, it's going to apply that color to whatever you have selected. So make sure you don't have anything selected when you're clicking around on these guys. But if you double click on one, you can go in and edit that swatch and the cool thing here is remember, I said they're global. So when you edit this, you can check mark preview and actually see the changes happen in your document to any object, shape, piece of text, whatever that has that swatch applied. That's the power of global swatches. And this is how to add swatches and add colors in your document, which is a great way to organize what's going on here in Illustrator.